It is wine time on the patio, and today I'm going to be enjoying a wine from La Chance Vineyards located in Missouri. Recently we visited Missouri and we took our uh, opportunity to go to La Chance. It was our first time there. They had a beautiful venue, a uh, gorgeous outdoor area, a lot of outdoor space. It's going to be really great this time of year to go visit. And also they had um, a food menu that looked great. So they had a beautiful space, great uh, food menu, and also, of course, really good wines. So we did a wine tasting, and the tastings there are, you get five tastes for $7, and you can keep the souvenir wine glass. So we took advantage of that opportunity, and we purchased this particular bottle that I wanted to share with you. So this is called Dore. You can see it's from La Chance Vineyards. Dore, and it's made with a grape called Cabernet Dore. Have you heard of Cabernet Dore? Probably not. But uh, it is a hybrid between the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Norton. So they took Cabernet Sauvignon vines and Norton vines, put those together to create a hybrid vine that then gave us this grape. But what's interesting is, I'm sure most of you know about Cabernet Sauvignon because it is probably, if not the, number one grape worldwide. So it's pretty well known for making red wine. Norton is probably more well known in the Midwest where it grows well in the cooler climates and it is a hybrid grape that, but it makes red wine as well. So these are both dark grapes making red wine. But when they made this hybrid plant, it created white grapes. And that's what made this uh, Dore wine. Now why do you think that is? Well, um, the theory is that the parentage of the parents of this one. So this wine grapes grandparents so uh, is who it resembles. So Cabernet Sauvignon has one white grape parent and Norton has one white grape parent. So when they took these two red grapes together it kicked back a generation to give us a white grape called Cabernet Dore. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, it's a really nice wine. I've chilled it a little bit. I'm gonna have it in my white wine glass. Um, it's very, it's considered to be an off dry, but I think it's kind of fruit forward. If I were comparing it to a grape you're familiar with, I would probably say it reminds me a little bit of a dry Riesling. Um, it's because it's got a lot of fruitiness to it and I really, really like it. So I'm going to be enjoying it today on the patio. And it is wine time. Cheers.